welcome to the Super League's roughest fixture. Invincible United versus Iron Tank. And today's showdown will be even more intense than usual. The winner gets a place in the Super League final. Super Strikers secured their spot last week and will no doubt be keeping a close eye on this game. Uh -huh. oh, got that you right. got it. These guys suck. We would have scored four goals by now. Totally. Yeah. Please, dudes. The defenders are owning this game. Mm, defenders. Oh, you mean those guys I run past when I score the goals? Berserker. Automatic to take the throw in. Can United make something of this? I don't know, Mac. He's pretty far from the box. This is not good. from Invincible United, and it's all thanks to their new star man, Automatic! Yep, unless Super Strikers find a way to stop him, it'll be automatic victory for United in the final. Berserker, berserker, sir. Yep, we're totally done for. But you guys can stop anything in the air. Yeah, can't you just header it away? Headering ain't gonna help us against the long throw. Hey, what are you talking about? A cross or a corner needs height to get distance, but Automatic's throw comes in low and hard, <laughs> like a cannonball. The slightest touch from anyone, even your own defenders, and the ball's in the back of the net. Yep. Mm. Whoa. Like a cannonball, hey? I think I know someone who can help us. Virgo, Virgo. Yeah, coach. This heading guru may have helped shakes, but defensive heading is totally different. Trust me, dudes. His methods are a little unusual. Power! His facilities are kind of low-tech. Accuracy! And he's really demanding. Guts! But when it comes to headers, no one's better than El Ariete, the battering ram. All right, all right. That training does sound kinda hardcore. Kinda? I'm the only player who ever passed. Shakes is right. If anyone can get you ready to face automatic, it's El Ariete. You have one week before the final. Make it count. Shakes, chances are this dude's waiting for us with a cannon. Uh -oh. All right, let's show El Ariete the Super Striker's defense is ready for anything. Strikers, welcome to header training. Have a complimentary gift bag. Uh, I was not ready for that. If you want to learn how to header, you must master three simple skills. First, power. <laughs> Accuracy. <laughs> and guts. Hello? Shakes, El Ariente's training is the worst. 
This place is a theme park, a tourist trap, a total gimmick. Are you sure it's the same El Ariete? Because the training I did was insane. Maybe you forwards just don't understand the meaning of real hardcore oh. training. If you don't believe me, just look in El Ariete's book of graduates. My name is the only one in there. <sighs> Whatever. Huh. We are just as hardcore as the Defenders. Yeah, in fact, I'm going to the day spa right now to get all these hardcore knots massaged out of my muscles. Yeah, good idea. I'm going to ask him to make my hot heart treatment extra hot. Come on, dude. We've wasted enough time here. The real training? Come on! Shakes doesn't know what he's talking about. I mean, the dude thinks a jumping castle is hardcore. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. We look for the book. Where do you think El Ariente keeps it? If it even exists. And then we do 300 push-ups, wrestle a moose, and run up a mountain? Backwards. We are that hardcore. So, does that answer your question? Uh, no. I asked how North and Block plan to stop Automatic's throw-in. <laughs> Those slackers are relaxing in Ibiza. <gasps> Suspicious. There's no way Coach would give his defenders time off before the final. Doesn't matter, Vince. We've got him. We can't lose. Wrong. Automatic's throw is only the first step to guarantee our victory. And what's step two? Sabotage, of course. Those slackers are relaxing in Ibiza. <gasps> so, what's in Ibiza? The battering ram. is more like it. is off limits. What are you doing here? Looking for the real header training. The one you gave Shakes? It is the same training Shakes got. Just in a safer, more controlled environment. We're about to face an unstoppable throw-in. We need the most hardcore header training there is. We need the battering ram. Sorry. That's just not me anymore. <sighs> Your training was so hardcore, only one player ever made it through. Now you hand out certificates to whoever shows up. Yep, was worth a shot. Hot shots! You want the real head of training? You got it! Not bad, hot shots. news of Sheik's training got out, everybody wanted lessons. And, like you, they were very persistent. So eventually I gave them what they wanted. But I had already created my masterpiece. Something I thought I would never use.
The ultimate head of craving. So, no one's passed this? Ha! No one's even seen it. Huh? Hey! I thought we were the first people to come down here. Those aren't people. They're your opponents. <laughs> Welcome to Super League News Flash. I'm Rob Ross. Uh, guys. While North Shaw and Block have gone missing in the build up to the final, Scar is so confident he's taking a holiday in Ibiza. Ha! That guy gives us hardcore for it's a bad name. I'll take a holiday when I'm dead. Yeah. Or if the weather's nice. Or if there's a sale on clothes. Guys, that isn't a holiday, it's sabotage. My machine will teach you to defend against this so-called unstoppable throw-in. If you hot shots are up to the job. I've never seen the battle score such an easy goal. Then start coaching, bro. What do we do? Stop behaving like defenders. Forget about the opposition. Attack the ball like a forward. No man marking? But that, that goes against everything we've ever learned. No risk. No reward. Aw, close. This sucks. Huh? <laughs> so, where's this famous heading coach? Don't know. He's taking the day off. Or maybe he's giving private lessons. Time for the Super League fight. <laughs> Sorry, losers, but Invincible United are gonna finish top of the ladder this season. <laughs> Shots. Think we can make it? No risk, no reward. Uh, not exactly what I meant, but. Defenders finally show up. You guys aren't the only ones who did hardcore training. We walked on the hot pavement. Barefoot. And only waited 10 minutes after eating before taking a swim. And? Did you learn how to stop automatics throw? Yeah, turns out the trick is to attack the ball like a forward. Ha-ha! <laughs> Told you guys forward for the most hardcore. Block and North may be able to stop automatic, but it'll take all of you to win the trophy. 
One, two, three, Super Striders! So I drop it, right? And I'm like, we're gonna finish top of the ladder, huh? That's why I have three steps to guarantee victory. Oh, yeah? And what's the third? Always have an ace up your sleeve. Okay, Mr. Buckethead. I have one last mission for you. <laughs> Welcome to the Super League Final. Invincible United versus Super Strikers. Great reception for both sides today. And great reception for me. <laughs> United must be the favorites here. Even the mighty Iron Tank had no answer for automatic throwing. Can Super Striker's defense do any better? Game on! Easy to guess Invincible United's game plan. Yep, get the ball out. And into Automatic's deadly hands. Unusual positioning from North and Block. You need to mark a man. Yeah, that's what we thought. I hope you two know what you're doing. Mm. And there it is, the deadly long throw. to win a game, Brenda. Indeed. If it carries on like this, it's going to penalties. Ha! About time. All right, boys, stay sharp. Only three minutes more. Uh, guys. They're bringing their goalie forward? An extra man? This completely tips the balance in United's favor. But it does give us a chance to hit them on the counter. Yeah, if we can get back possession. And quickly, too. So, any ideas? Doggle doggle, bigger dog, a dog. You sure, dude? That sounds super risky. No risk. Doggle block. Last chance of the game. Will the goalie make the difference? Well, he seems to have Super Striker spooked. North and Block are finally marking United. And here's the run-up from Automatic. Oh! What a throw! What is Block doing? He sent the ball directly towards his own goal! What? Super Striker's planned that. <laughs> now that's risky. How fast can you run? Get back! Everyone, get back! I suppose that proves it. Defenders and forwards are soft. Goalkeepers are the most hardcore. <laughs> hey! What's so funny? So much for your three-step plan, Vince. I never said there were only three steps. <sighs> really? What's next? If you can't beat them, join them. Who is it? What do you want? Oh, uh, 
just some ex-students. Burger, burger! Hot shots! That move was the riskiest thing I have ever seen. So, you gonna take your own advice and stick to real header training? No risk, no reward, right? Yes. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> Welcome to header training. We're into the final few minutes at the cauldron. Super Strikers are throwing everyone forward. They're desperate to find the Equalizer. But Grimm's ghoulish defense is holding firm. If anyone can break through, it's El Matador. Super Strikers number 20 has done everything right today. Everything except score a goal, that is. Precision through ball from Dancing Rasta. Shakes draws the defense. It's an open goal! Woohoo! <laughs> Feel the beauty! What? Oh, dude. Oh, so embarrassing! Huh? El Matador was so busy celebrating, he didn't bother to check if the pool went in. Oh, this is not going to be good for his confidence. It's over for me. Goodbye forever, soccer. Suck it up, bro. We all have a bad game now and then. Ah, you guys don't get it. I'm not special anymore. I'm just a regular player. Like the rest of you. Mm -hmm. uh, read some fan mail, dude. That'll cheer you up. Okay, man. I'll get on to that pronto. We'll see you at training, right? Yeah, yeah. See you there. De Los Santos, how confident are you feeling ahead of Azul's trip to Strikerland? Stopping Super Striker's attack is always a challenge, Lena. <gasps> but I am feeling up to the job. <laughs> 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 ah, show off. Well, he does have the stats to back the confidence. That's why we'll be playing with three Strikers. Shakes, Klaus, and... Uh... Where is El Mando? Yeah, where is he? I haven't seen him. He had better have a good reason. Hello, you've reached El Matador. I will be unavailable forever. Uh, still this? Don't leave a message, and I won't get back to you. Goodbye. Still down about that miss, eh? Yep, moping at home. Huh. Well, there goes our three striker strategy, brothers. Hmm. Jakes, Klaus, come with me. I have a plan. El Matador's confidence has taken a major hit. I'm counting on you to get his mind right before the Azul game. I don't know, coach. It's gonna take something big to get through to him. Whoa. Oh, oh. Welcome to our football technology vault. I always wondered where you kept this stuff, coach. So we put on the robo suit, grab El Matador, and bring him back, right? <laughs> Not quite. Activate Narcissus Protocol. I had a state-of-the-art device created especially for this kind of situation. Ooh, what does it do? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Just find El Matador, press the button, and the device will do the rest. And I thought my place was untidy. Hmm. <gasps> hmm? Dear El Matador the Great, forget what everyone else says, that miss wasn't your fault. It was obviously a bad pass from Shakes. Hmm. Come join your real fans. We believe in you no matter what. He wouldn't have. He, he, he couldn't have. His hair dryer isn't here. He never goes anywhere without it! Oh, he did. I don't know, Coach. He's somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Don't worry, we'll get him back. 
Ooh, I can't wait to see what this baby does. Forget about the device, Klaus. We need to focus on getting El Matador back in time for the game. Hmm. It could be a fold-up helicopter. <gasps> or a hypnosis device. <gasps> Maybe it's a teleporter. A flux capacitor? A spaceship for ants? The world's smallest spotlight? A robotic homing pigeon? A Rubik's sphere? A gravity disruptor? VR projector? A trans-dimensional day spa? A silver snitch? A bright destroy? A pokeball? Portable universe? Alien egg? Self-aware magic eight ball? <gasps> I have to know! Must find out what it does. Oh! <laughs> ah! <gasps> Too close. Shakes his right. I have to focus on getting El Matador back in time. Back in time. <gasps> Klaus, we're here. Hmm? Gah! Where did he go? <laughs> well, this is definitely the place. There's something fishy going on in there, Junior. Um, I'm looking for a friend. Uh, glasses, ponytail... There are many on board, but only one. Right. <laughs> Thanks. Watch out, Junior. Everyone in there is crazy. Last stop. Everybody off. Ugh. Get El Matador back in time. <gasps> the question isn't where am I, but when am I? Of course, a time machine. Activate the device and get El Matador out of here. Easy as... Klaus? Mm. Do not be alarmed by my strange clothes and futuristic haircut. I am a time traveler. Oh, great. Another crazy. I don't see anyone else here. First the ponytail guy, then the cheeky one with the spiky hair. The ponytail guy? Yes, the perfect place to get away from yourself, the past. Very clever, El Matador. Uh, where or when did the ponytail guy go? Rejoice, our king is here. Feel the duty! Feel the duty! <laughs> Almost. It's feel the beauty! Duty! Beauty! Duty? Eh, close enough. See? We are your best fans! Huh? The shame! Ooh. Look! Ooh. He mocks the great one with this incorrect jersey number! What? This the only one in the shop! Mm. Come on, people! <laughs> feel the duty? 
is not worthy of the mighty El Matador. No. 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 Fine. I didn't even want to be part of your stupid club anyway. Sheesh. Those people won't let me anywhere near El Matador. <sighs> Our king is bored and demands entertainment. Who will step up for the skills battle? Winner will be given one-on-one -on -one face time with El Matador himself. Yeah. Gotcha. My shirt, my glasses, my pants. My dignity. <laughs> Others challenge for an audience with the king. I do. Huh? <gasps> <laughs> there is only one explanation for this. All the El Matadors from every point in time have gathered here. <sighs> but I need the real El Matador. <laughs> Good luck, challengers! Come back to strike a land, El Matador. We need three strikers to get past De Los Santos. Uh, I'm sorry, Shakes. My place is here now. My people need me. But Super Strikers are your people. Unworthy! Off the team! <laughs> El Matador, come on! Please! El Matador! I'm sorry, my friend, but this is best for me and for Super Strikers. This one is big trouble. I don't want him coming back. <laughs> Let me out! Let me out! Let me... <sighs> Klaus! Thank goodness! Where did you go? I think you mean when did I go? Huh? What are you talking about? Well, it's obvious that El Matador is hiding in the past. That's why Coach gave us the time machine. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Oh, really? Well, what's your big theory then, Shakes? El Matador started a weird fan club consisting entirely of El Matador lookalikes and plans to rule them like a king. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Look, man, who they are or when they are, isn't important. What matters is that we get El Matador back. Well, what are we waiting for? Or Raza? Don't say it, dude. When are we waiting for? Yeah. All right, people, one more time. From the top, feel the beauty. Feel the beauty. Uh, I give up. Hey, El Matador. Oh, feel the duty? We are here to take our El Matador back to the present in the future. Or is that back to the future which was the present? Huh? Get them! Yeah. Let's find out what this thing really does. If you're watching this, you're in trouble. We all feel lost from time to time. Perhaps you have lost the keys to your Lamborghini. You might have lost your socks. It's not a time machine? <laughs> Brilliant. The only person El Matador listens to is himself, so Coach made an El Matador hologram to convince him to come back. Well, it seems to be working on all of them. Or you're lost contemplating your own beauty. Perhaps you are lost in time, lost in space. 
and me. But remember, you are the greatest player of the age. Super Strikers need you because, like a Lamborghini, without the key, they just aren't as good. Come on. Come on. I don't want to, 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 I don't want to. Oh, crazy! You need to fulfill your destiny at Strike Alive. Help me, El Matador. I am my only hope. You heard the glorious ponytailed leader? Super Strikers need us! Yeah! 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 Striker Man! Yeah! Man! Yeah! Hmm. You may have got me back to Striker Land, but I'm not playing. Hmm. You did use the hologram, right? It should have worked. We used it all right. Just not how you intended. What are you talking about? Uh, you wouldn't believe me if I told you? The Azul fans are looking confident today, folks. Well, I would too if I had the mighty De Los Santos in goal. <laughs> Odd, though, that coach has opted to keep El Matador on the bench. Yeah, tough to see Super Strike is getting past Azul's keeper without it. Chance for Super Strikers. What a shot! But not enough to beat De Los Santos. Fun warm up. <laughs> when are we gonna start playing for real? Shakes and Klaus are giving it their all. But it's not enough. De Los Santos is just too good. I have an idea. It's an oldie, but a goodie. We're almost at the end of the first half. Can Shakes and Klaus finally get past De Los Santos? Shakes hits the post! And the ball goes straight to Klaus! Oh! Huh? Come on, Shakes. You beat me with that trick before. It's going to take much more than that to beat me again. Oh. Hate to say it, Coach, but this isn't working. Yeah, we need three strikers out there. We need El Mar Don't even say his name. I don't want to see any more of that guy. Yeah, we may have accidentally played the hologram message to a bunch of crazy El Matador fans. <gasps> That's it. I'm calling security. Coach, hang on a minute. I think there's a way we can use this. My people! I knew you'd come to get me. And that's not the only good news. Really? Yeah, we found your replacement. Ah! I always knew I had it in me to be the best El Matador ever. That's what you wanted, right? No, 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 Coach. These are just fans who adore me. Wonderful. Me. With you on board, <laughs> De Los Santos has no chance. Hey, why don't we give him El Matador's locker? Oh, perfect! We even have the same number! Yeah, sounds yeah. good talking about. Unless you mind, El Matador. No, not at all. Oh, in that case, we can give him your hair dryer too, right? He is the one on the pitch, man. His hair needs to look better than yours. <laughs> That's it! There are plenty of people who look like me, but there is only one El Matador. Prove it. Huh? I'll put you on, but if you don't produce the goods, I'm going to replace you with the El Matador who really wants to be here today. Me, 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 me. Come on, my people. Let's go and beat the Azul. Let's do this. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Halftime substitution for the Super Strikers. Coach brings on El Matador.
We're well into the second half. Scorers are tight, and Super Strikers are on the attack again. But this time, they've <laughs> unleashed their full firepower. Brilliant build-up play. But it doesn't count for a thing if they can't get it past De La Santos. Klaus shoots. De La Santos saves. She latches onto the rebound. De La Santos saves again. But, but here comes El Matador. Matador. Beauty! <laughs> El Matador really is one of a kind. Uh, someone needs to tell them that. <laughs> it's so beautiful! <laughs> it's good to be me! Yes, yes. Come on, come on, huh? Oh, forget it! I'll get my fish from the supermarket! Sir? Sir? You can't park here! Why not? Is this not a reasonable place to park? Reasonable? You're parked on the lawn! <laughs> Sorry! I can't be late for my big moment. Well, folks, we've had plenty of worthy winners, but now it's time for the number one prize, the big fish, the crown jewel, the golden boot! Ah, <sighs> just in time for my award. Nice of you to join us, El Matador. Yeah, only two hours late. Award ceremonies are so boring. Yep. Keep telling yourself that, Shakes. It'll make it easier for you when I win the golden boot. And the nominees are... Oh, here's my moment. Rihanna from Barca FC. El Matador from Super Strikers. Scarra from Invincible United. And Shakes from Super Strikers. And the winner... But I'm not gonna make it this easy for you next year. <laughs> Wouldn't expect any less, dude. Once again, your team carries you to the trophy. Well, maybe you should try to pass to your team once in a while. It really helps win those trophies. Please, look at them. If it was just you versus me, I'd win every time. Pity there isn't the biggest cheat award, because then you would win every time. Wow, guys. Oh, guys. First, First Super, Super Strikers, Strikers won the league last, last season, and now this? I couldn't have done it without my team. You hear that? I, he couldn't have done it without me. Well, well anyway, anyway thanks, thanks, everyone. everyone. Looking forward to an even bigger challenge next season. <laughs> Why wait till next season, Shakes? Mr. Shakes, what's this? Dear Shakes, Miss Altivo invites you to her private island for a soccer challenge like no other. Ah, oh, come on! You get the golden boot and the fancy golden letter? No fair. Mr. Matador. Now that's more like it. Dear El Matador, your car has been towed. Huh? Ah! You really thinking of going to that island, Shakes, ma? Well... It would be nice to do something different. But you're going to miss out on the end of season barbecue at Dancing Rasta's house. Relaxing in the sun. Listening to groovy tunes. And chowing down as much delicious grub as we can fit in our bellies. It is important to take a break, Ma. Don't worry. I'll be fine. What's that, Skara? Hey, back. Be 
arriving shortly. Welcome to El Tibo's Island. Whoa. Hi, Shakes. Ah! El Matador, what are you doing here? Eh, my invite must have got lost in the post. <laughs> Very funny, Shakes. <laughs> Shakes? Hey, guys. Hey, Shay. Hey, what's, hey, what's hey, happening, man. dude? Well, well, well. It's Mr. Golden Boot himself. I see you brought your babysitter, Shakes. <laughs> ha! The only thing I sit on is chairs. And sometimes the ground when there are no chairs available. So, what's this all about? I don't know. Haven't seen anyone since we got here. Huh, probably trying to sell us timeshare. Gentlemen. Hmm? I'm offering something much more exciting than that. The challenge of a lifetime. An idyllic tropical island converted into the ultimate testing ground for the ultimate footballers. Dribbling, balance, stamina. This is your chance to test your skills against your greatest opponents. Then, the last two standing will face off in the ultimate soccer showdown. And why should we play in your little tournament? Yeah, what's in it for us? A chance to find out which of you is truly the greatest player of your generation. But, if any of you aren't feeling up to the challenge, my planes are available to take you home. Yeah, why don't you losers go home and have a skinny frappa dappuccino? I'll stay here and win. Not a chance, Skara. Oh, you gotta stay, Shakes. I'm gonna show everyone why I should have won the Golden Boot. All right, let's do this. I'm so sorry, El Matador. My tournament is for award winners only. Cruel fate! Why do you hate me? Why don't you just go and relax in the VIP lounge? Hmm. <sighs> There's a complimentary gift bag. Gift bag, eh? It will be mine! For the rest of you, destiny awaits. Good luck. I'll see you at the finish line. <laughs> if you survive that long. <laughs> Ready for some good old holiday fun, eh, Shakes? Yeah, just wish I'd brought my swimming trunks. Ah, it's good to take a break from football, man. So, here's the game plan. No char, watch the rear. Rump is sizzling, Captain. Cool Joe, keep working them wings. Gotcha, brother. Twisting Tiger, make some space in the center. Ah! Already on it. El Matador, you... El Matador? Where's El Matador? Probably running late. Again. Uh, guys, you got to see this. This is the biggest TV I have ever seen in my whole life. It's a beautiful day, Klaus Mann. Why don't you come outside? But the television has 3D. Um, outside is 3D. Yeah, but does outside have a built-in built karaoke, karaoke function? function? La, la. <gasps> Run for your lives, brothers. <laughs> la. Do not trip or slip or fumble when you rumble in the jungle. Oh, out the way, puny man child. Super strikers may have finished top of the log, but you know nothing of jungle combat. This pathetic island is like under 13 training at Iron Tank. Ah! Whoa. Intense, bros. Yeah, looks dangerous. <laughs> Race you. Guys, 
The log! The Super Strike has finished top of the log. Yeah, we get it. No, the log! Ah, come on. No golden boot, no golden ticket. And now I can't even find the VIP lounge. This sucks. Oh. Station one. Almost through the rumble in the jungle. Excellent. Station two. The pillar thriller is uh, ready for action. Eh, uh, those challenges are nothing compared to finding the VIP lounge. More like very impossible to find lounge. Scara, you jerk! Why did you take out Laquito? Yeah. yeah, most dishonorable. You losers can hold hands and sing Kumbaya, but I'm here to win. Uh, guys, we've got a problem. A big problem. Keep the ball up on the pillar thriller, and try not to fall. The drop's quite a killer. Huh? Did you guys hear that? Hear what? Exactly. That's a long way down. Hey! Over here! You ready to join the team? Just pass it! Chuck, don't! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we've been over this. I'm a bad, bad boy. Now, which one of you losers should I take out next? Bingo. Sad to see you eliminated. Our audience was loving your rivalry with Shakes. Audience? What audience? <laughs> you were on my brand new reality show. Standing by. Soccer Island. Pillar Thriller. Skara fails, Shakes prevails. There are four superstars left. But only two will make it to the Volcano Showdown, and only one will be crowned the King of Soccer Island. This whole thing is fake? I prefer the term scripted reality. Now, why don't you catch the rest of the show in the VIP lounge? And watch Shakes win? Yeah, right. I've had enough of Loser Island. Dudes, that looks so good. Oh, yum. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> Not so fast. Just a few more minutes, man. I want this meat cooked to perfection. Guys, you gotta come see this. Hey, Klaus, how many times we gotta tell you we're not gonna listen to you sing karaoke? No, you guys really gotta come see this. <sighs> Shakes is on TV. His big secret elite tournament is a celebrity reality show. <sighs> reality TV is so lame. It's all fake, you know? Totally scripted. Come on, guys. <laughs> the barbecue waits for no one. Yeah! 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 Who is in hot enough form to make it to the volcano in Flamo? An epic final showdown above scorching lava. Could watch for a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the VIP lounge? Pouches seem comfy. Not sure about the weird decor, though. 
But no gift bag. Huh? He's so pleased. Uh, I'll never find the VIP lounge. Why even bothering? They won't let you in. You didn't win an award. Uh, yeah, except for the Super League trophy. Heard of that one? Whatever. Huh? What do we have here? Time to give you losers a dose of real reality. Altivo, we found the source of the interference. Auxiliary control room three. Scara. I'll call security. No, I have a better idea. If there's one thing the audience loves more than a hero, it's a bad, bad villain. Volcano soccer, here we come. You know I'm not going easy on you, my friend. Wouldn't expect any less, dude. Shinx and Riano head for the final challenge, but they don't know that an evil force is at work. What? Scara? Dude, told you it's all fake. Why would Scara be in the control room? If I can't win, no one will. <laughs> Some holiday this turned out to be, eh, Shinx? Don't worry. I got you, dude. I don't think so, my friend. Looks like I let you off easy again. No! Come on, Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I guess this means Shakes has won it. All right, I'll admit it. This is kind of cool. For reality TV. Kind of cool? That's the most insane thing I've ever seen! Wow, it's like I can actually smell the smoke from the volcano. Oh, no, man! The barbecue! Okay, are we done here, Altivo? Riano's out. I'm the only one left. Huh? The game's changed, Shakes. Ah! No! Oh! How did you get back into the tournament? Oh, wait. Let me guess. You cheated. Boo hoo! Pity there's no ref for you to winch to, no teammates to carry you, and no Super League rules to hide behind. Now we'll see who's really the best. He's a natural. Audience is waiting. Let's get the ball rolling. Shall we? <laughs> you lose, Shakes. No matter how many trophies you win, you'll always know that one on one, I'm the king. Now 
Now the whole world's gonna see who deserves the golden boot. What are you talking about? Cheers, Sloan. None of this is real. You're on reality TV shakes. But not for much longer. <gasps> huh? Huh? <gasps> TV, your ratings are about to take a dive. Uh, no! Still no VIP room? I just can't win. El Matador wins! How did he get up there? I don't know, Miss Altivo. He's supposed to be in the VIP room. They fought through the jungle. Balanced above the abyss, held their nerve in the murky depths, and battled it out above a fiery volcano. But only one player had the skill, bravery, and stamina to become the first ever champion of Soccer Island. <laughs> I always knew I had it in me. <laughs> what is Soccer Island? All that planning, all that hard work. You can't control everything, Miss Altivo. It is reality TV. You're fired! You idiot! You let him win? He's not even supposed to be here! Why don't you complain to the ref? <gasps> All right, there isn't one. Shakes, dude. Shakes, dude. I'm glad you're all right, man. Me too, my friend. So, what do you think of Soccer Island? Well, it's not every day I get to play on top of a volcano. Duh. You people make me want to puke. I'm going to the VIP lounge. This is a great honor. Now, where's my gift bag? I won! But he didn't even have a golden ticket. What did I say? Fake. Maybe it's meant to be a twist ending? Yeah, the twist is we just wasted our afternoon. At least we still have the delicious food. Huh? No! 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 Reality TV sucks. Told you. Totally sucks, dudes. <laughs> Great accuracy, boys. Yeah. Looking good, Captain. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. good isn't good enough. Oh, come on, Coach. Coach, we're totally awesome! No? Take a look at this. Colonel Von Pushup, you just crushed Hydra in their home waters. How'd you do it? Johan Uber's marshalling in the midfield was visionary. Thor's shooting was unstoppable. And no one can get past our newest weapon, the Mangler. <laughs> Are you confident you can execute the same against Super Strikers next week? The Fortress Stadium may be up in the mountains, but Super Strikers are going down. <sighs> this is Lena Long, Football 360, signing out. Feeling warm and looking good. And this is why I never pack light. Coach, uh, can we have our secret training mission somewhere warmer? I want you all ready for the extreme cold before we play at the Fortress Stadium. That's not gonna help us if we can't get past the Mangler. Dude's super scary. It's like he reacts before you even kick the ball. That's why we have this. A ball? This new plan of yours is pure genius, Coach. This isn't any ball. Whoa. It's GPS chipped for tracking speed, air pressure, and direction. If you can kick the ball harder than 100 miles an hour, you can beat the Mangler. Man, that's fast. Never stop believing. It is possible, Shakespeare. Right, guys? <laughs> Dot the spirit block. Car. Roger? Super Strikers, this is your pilot speaking. Please fasten your seatbelts. We're in for an interesting landing. Attention, Island Tank! 
Hi, this, this is your coach speaking. Ah, we can hear you. We are right here, Colonel. Colonel, I have picked up a nearby GPS signal. All the way out here? Hmm. Directive, change course! Ah, directive understood. Smooth landing, hey boys? Man, too smooth. <laughs> Big Bull, your mangler for the afternoon. Sure thing. How's this? <laughs> Not bad. The rest of you, let's get to it. <laughs> Make it fast, Shakes. Sure thing, Coach. Ah! Bring it. <laughs> what? Strikers, what are they doing here? Directive, Lippery! Of all the icebergs they could run into, it had to be ours? Blag or blag? Smooth, 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 smooth. Talking in code. Very clever. Colonel, the chipped object is moving. Directive, find the source of the signal. Already have. Let Whoa. me see. A GPS ball? I think I know what Super Strikers are up to. A Bond push-up. If I'd known you were visiting, I would have tidied up. Well, considering we are here, how about a little friendly? You're on. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel, the ball reached 72 miles an hour. Ha! Takes more than that to beat the mangler. Shakespeare! Yes! Colonel! Dancing Rasta beats the mangler! What? Directive! Get the ball! Directive understood. That was amazing, Captain. How did you do it? You won't believe what happened. I... Huh? Where's he off to? <gasps> the ball! Captain, wait! Huh? 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 Huh?
Everyone, back to the deck! <laughs> what about Dancing Rasta? We'll figure that out later. But if we don't get off this iceberg now, we're all taking a long, cold swim. Come on, Captain. Feelings are cold yet? I'm just getting warmed up, man. <laughs> Time to blow the lid on your mission. Don't worry, guys. I know just how to wake him up. <gasps> oh, dude. Nope. He's out cold. Ah! Ah! Dude, you killed him! <gasps> Sorry. Cold messes with our equipment all the time. Is it gonna be okay, Doc? Your captain's had a serious shock to the system. His body isn't used to such extreme cold. Unfortunately, I can't say what will wake him up. He could be asleep for a few hours, or... Or... or what? Or... a very long time. Captain, when you awaken, you will be in this foreign place without the necessities of life. So I leave you this gift. The world's most powerful hairdryer. Technical difficulties? Yeah, water damage. Don't worry. Keeping our equipment running in this court has taught me that sometimes all you need is a little bit of improvisation. <laughs> Target reacquired. Directive. Libre! The hair dryer trick works every time. How long will it take to dry out? Hmm, difficult to say, but I'll call you as soon as I can access the data. Directive! <gasps> Stay out! Stay out! Stay out! Stay out! I really hate the loudspeaker. Match day at the Fortress Stadium, Brenda, and the teams are warm enough. But without dancing Rasta, will Super Strikers be left out in the cold, Mac? Uh, is that what I think it is? Uh huh. <laughs> you sure you didn't see how Rasta did that power kick? You were right there, brother. Heads up! The mist was too thick. I couldn't see. Huh. A frozen ball, a frozen captain, and a frozen brain. Great! Come on! There's nothing we can do about the ball right now, Shakes. Concentrate on the game. It's Iron Tank versus Super Strikers, live from the Fortress Stadium! Some interesting team news, Mac. Dancing Rasta is out with a mystery injury. And even more strange, Thor isn't in Iron Tank's starting lineup, even though he's fit to play. And the battle begins! 
Mystic Tiger spins past Uber. Yon I, Yon I. Fantastic build up by Super Strikers. <laughs> Jakes is in a promising position. Can he succeed where all the league's top strikers have failed? 100 miles an hour. Can he beat the Mangler? <laughs> That's half time. And Super Strikers are no nearer to beating the Mangler. Dancing Rasta! Dancing Rasta! Dancing. I guess they really do need Dancing Rasta, mm -hmm. Mac, but he's... he's nowhere to be seen. Yes! <laughs> Directive, move on target. Directive understood. Shapes. Hello, Doc. Great news. All the data is still intact. Are you with the ball now? No. Why? Approaching target. I would take her after the ball. Don't worry. I'm right next door to... Hey. Don't even think about it. No! Direct him! Get that ball! Give it up, man! As my doctor, I prescribe lots of rest. Captain, huh? you're okay. Oh, everyone's gonna be so relieved. And you can tell us how you beat the Mangler. Sure. One thing, though. Shoot, Captain. Who are you again? You knew that ball was our best shot, so you tried to steal it again. Yeah, well, it seemed easier than stealing Rasta. <laughs> well, you should have stolen Rasta. Huh? Hmm. Hmm? Yeah! <laughs> Welcome yeah. back, Rasta. Welcome back, dude! Great to meet you. Uh -huh. Oh, right. Shakes told me. We're teammates. This is a cruel disease. How can anyone forget me? I want to help you guys, but how can I be the captain of D Super Strikers? Hmm. Huh? <laughs> well, if anything's gonna remind you who you are, it's this. Thanks, Shakes. Shakesmon, eh? The real Rasta calls me Shakesmon. Well, he's not here right now, okay? The return of their captain, even from the sidelines, could be just the charm Super Strikers need. Well, he'd better work his magic soon, because Super Strikers are running out of time. Run!
play intensifies, Johan Uber takes things a bit too far. You and your captain are as ineffective as each other. Shakespeare! It was one with just Shakespeare. What's he what's he saying? That's easy. It was downward pressure. Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. With their captain on ice, Super Strikers are looking directionless. So, what's the plan? Stand on the ball. Uh, brilliant! Uh, no, wait. The exact opposite of that. Downward pressure? Push down on the ball, and it'll shoot out like a rocket. Where do you get this crazy idea from? Dancing Rasta. Um, which Dancing Rasta? He's back, El Matador. He called me Shakespeare. Ugh, guess we got nothing to lose. Except the game, right? Come on, Shakes and El Matador. Time's a ticking. Final chance of the game. <laughs> Team effort, as usual. Now come on, guys, let's go home. I've had enough of this cold. Hey, check it out. Directive Scrub! I really, really hate the loudspeaker. I guess Iron Tank's performance was really substandard. <laughs> oh, man. Clean your locker day is the worst. Shakes! <laughs> I suppose my locker is a little untidy. No ways! My adventure annuals! I loved these when I was a kid. Oh, this one's my favorite. About a hundred years ago, a Brazilian businessman named Albert Douglas Ventura took on the most insane football project ever. Building a stadium in the middle of the Amazon jungle. Ooh. But the extreme location made construction a nightmare. His crew bailed on him, but Ventura stuck it out, refusing to abandon his dream. You do know that's totally made up, right? Yeah, of North. course. Pfft. The lost stadium is totally real, Shakes. Oh, yeah? And where's Ventura now? He never returned from the jungle. Anacondas, piranhas, panthers! The Amazon is a dangerous place. Brazil has something even more dangerous than all of that. And he's coming to strike a land. Match day at Strike a Land! And Super Strikers are struggling to deal with Commentary Starman. The Master of Flair. The Samba King. John Aldo! Welcome to the end of the road. Hello. Ha! You think you can stop my samba style? That's cute. When you're as skilled as me, you do as you please. Ha -ha! <clears throat> oh! The Brazilian might
Maestro has made the league's best defenders look like amateurs. They had no answer for his unpredictable style. All right. Drop it in. North Shore, you'll never stop Donaldo by diving in recklessly. You need to focus on the ball, not the man. Yeah, not the ground either, dude. This isn't good, man. Don Aldo seriously damaged their confidence. That's an understatement. We've got one defender who's playing too aggressively, and another who isn't playing at all. Come on, Block. Just one tackle, a little one. Please? He says he's fine, as long as his teddy sharing him helps him practice. Those two need a break. A chance to get their heads back in the game. How are we gonna do that and get them to Rio in time for the return leg? I think I have a way. North, Block, I'm sending you on a confidence building session in the Amazon before the game. A jungle adventure? At a luxury hotel. What? But it's the Amazon jungle, coach. It's meant to be about danger and excitement, not room service and little tiny shampoo bottles. The hotel has all the facilities and privacy you'll need to focus on stopping Donaldo. And who are we meant to play against? The bellboy? The world's greatest strike force. <gasps> Have I ever told you guys I was a junior wilderness cadet? I promise to use my cadet survival skills to keep us safe in the Amazon. Yeah, Klaus. Maybe you can get your ordering room service badge. Uh, I got that one ages ago. You gotta try to make the most of the situation, dude. Whatever. And here's my Junior Wilderness Cadet Navigation Badge, my Campfire Badge, my Air Guitar Badge, my Mime Badge, my Listing Things Badge, my Crochet Badge, my Life of the Party Badge, my Pancake Eating Badge, my Growing Up Badge, my Not Understanding Social Cues Badge. Whoa, this is gonna be epic. Glad to see you're making the most of the situation. No point in complaining. Yep. Totally gonna make the most of the situation. Come on out. This jetty has been certified safe by a junior wilderness cadet. Hold up, North. Coach said someone from the hotel was meeting us here. Come on, the place is just around the corner. Besides, we need to start practicing ASAP, right? Yeah, but... We got our gear, we got the players. All we need is the pitch. Okay, but only if you're sure you know where the hotel is. Don't worry, dude. I know exactly where we're going. Dancing Rasta. That was the hotel. North and the others didn't make their rendezvous. What? They're somewhere in the jungle. You're in charge till I get back. But coach, they're lost in the Amazon. That'll be like trying to find... Uh, some guys lost in the Amazon. Then I'd better get started. Um, what is that stuff? Oh, this? Volcanic ash and... Watermelon. Yeah, I fly some unusual jobs. You're hired. Name's Mara. Where are we headed? North, didn't you say the hotel was right around the corner? Chillax, it's a big corner. Yeah, well, what is that? I've got the Junior Wilderness Cadet Sound Identification Badge. It's a panther growl. No, 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 no. It's a wind. Hmm, perhaps thunder? I've got it. It's a waterfall. <gasps> Oh, <laughs> 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 
Jacob's gone, bro! He's gone! North? What have you done? Why would we want to hang out in some lame hotel when we could go on an epic adventure? <gasps> you didn't. That's right. We're going to find the lost stadium. That's insane. It's some made-up story. It doesn't exist. Um, Shakes? My junior wilderness cadet observation skills tell me that it might. This'll do. I'll be in contact to arrange the pickup somewhere down there. That'll be a fun landing. You sure about this? I've got a game to win. See? We're totally on the right path. We're supposed to be training for the Palma game, not going on some crazy treasure hunt. But that's the best part, dude. We can practice in the Lost Stadium. An actual pitch will be so much better than some hotel field. And it's not like we can go back to the way we came. You do know this is the worst plan ever, right? Chill. It's an adventure, dude. <sighs> Well, come on, Mr. Ventura, lead the way. Okay, you were right. The Lost Stadium is real. Now come on, let's go do some long overdue training. Ah! Ouch! Oh, hmm. So much better than some hotel field, eh, North? <sighs> yeah. all over the place. I can't follow it. Uh, a plan. Oh, great. Stuck in the middle of nowhere and we can't train? Don't worry, guys. I'll use my junior wilderness cadet training to come up with a rescue plan. We'll be out of here in no time at all. We'll never get out of here. And it's all my fault. <sighs> because I'm a fake. 
I got all my Junior Wilderness Cadet badges on the internet. Wait, you didn't even have to go outside? Well, I had the window open. It's totally not your fault, Klaus. It's mine. Being dominated by Don Aldo, it, it totally messed me up. But instead of facing up to it, I, I dragged us into some crazy adventure. I put a tracker in Sheringham. I figured he'd be the one thing you wouldn't leave behind. So, did you at least manage to do some training? Pitch is covered with roots. It's too unpredictable. Unpredictable, eh? Get some rest, boys. We train at first light. point of looking good if your friends aren't here to appreciate your awesomeness. I kind of even miss Shake Smelly Socks. <sighs> no. Listen up, guys. If Coach says he's gonna find our brothers, he'll do it. And we gotta do our part by giving Palma the toughest game of their lives. We play our hearts out for the first 45. Keep the score at nil-nil. We can do that, right? Yes! Yeah. Then come on! Let's get out there and do it for our brothers. <laughs> yes. One, Battle. two, three, <laughs> Super Striders! Game on! I've never seen Super Strikers use such a defensive formation. Not surprising, considering half their team hasn't shown up. What is Coach thinking? No idea. He's missing too. Can the reserve defenders stop the Samba King? Huh? They don't have to! Dancing Rasta makes a brilliant tackle! It's all hands on deck for Super Strikers! Even their most attacking players are helping out in defense. <clears throat> but the question is, how long can they keep it up? <sighs> We're almost at half time! Don't let it slip now! And here comes Paul Mentieri again. This must be the final attack of the half. And for once, Donaldo makes it past Dancing Rasta. Can the reserve defenders stop the Samba King? <laughs> nope, his movements are just too unpredictable. Oh! Ecstasy for Paul Mentieri, but agony for Super Strikers. second half is about to start, and we have unconfirmed reports coming in that... Brenda! Could it be? But the way North Shaw and Block played last game, Coach might be better off sticking with the reserves. And the second half is underway. After last game, I thought you two would run off scared. I'm gonna make you wish you had. Now remember, watch the ball, not the man. 
Coach, we tried this and failed hard. The pitch is too unpredictable. Come on, dude. I know this isn't ideal, but... We've got to make the most of our situation, right? Unpredictable pitch is the perfect way to prepare for an unpredictable player like Donaldo. But how's it going to help us if we can't get back in time for the game? Don't worry about that. Our ride is almost here. But before we leave, I want to try one more drill. I've seen what the defenders have learned. Now it's the forward's turn. <laughs> with you, Coach. Actually, I've got one more job for you. This is how to soak away those aches and pains. Yeah, I think I just earned my ultimate relaxation badge. <laughs> Guys, come look at this. Remember when North said Alberto Ventura never made it out of the jungle? Yeah. That's because he spent the rest of his life chilling in this hotel. <laughs> it's just as well North isn't here to see this. I still don't get why he'd want to miss out on some mega relaxation. North hates mm -hmm. this stuff, remember? So I gave him another chance to take on nature. Hey, Mon Mon. It's me, Shakes. You know, the guy who's always sticking his nose in other people's business. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, brilliant. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> Not you, Chuck T. Chipperson. My Technovision glasses. The glasses you are wearing are the perfect training device. I can loan any player from any team into your field of vision. I've even got managers, reporters, all kinds of stuff. I don't know, Tony. These things make me feel like I'm going crazy. Oh, hey, wait. There we go. Better? Hi, Tony. Can I try the movie glasses? John J. Johnson, Jr., you're supposed to be sorting out the vermin problem. You don't need to worry about this gun, Tony. I've taken care of it. The stink bag is finally gone? You'll never see that skunk again. <laughs> you give me those glasses right now! <laughs> Technovision isn't a toy. It should only be used for training. <gasps> or sabotage. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, I must be like 20 feet high. El Matador, you've scored 10 goals in four games. What is the secret to your phenomenal form? Well, Lena, when I look my best, I play my best. The shiny teeth. The giant head. The perfect hair. The incredible self-indulgence. And the finishing touch. My custom design, super expensive, one-of-a-kind glasses. Ooh. Ouch! Nobody touches the glasses. 
They're so copyright protected, if I tried to make another one, I'd have to sue myself. Hurry up, El Matador! Coach is waiting. You can't rush perfection! Ugh. <laughs> Dude takes more showers in a day than I do in a month. Uh, well, it's working. Celebrity Stalker magazine says El Matador is the hottest player in the Super League right now. What? They were handing them out for free on the plane. Uh, no they weren't. We got here on the striker jet. <laughs> <laughs> My redesign worked. It's the perfect replica. With a bit of Technovision magic, of course. Ah! Oh. I'm looking great. <laughs> Gonna score lots of goals today. You a skunk! I'm getting out of here! The skunk. Mm. Oh, it stinks! When I get my hands on you, I'm gonna... Drap. Hmm, my glasses feel kinda weird. Did you guys mess with them? Nobody touched your glasses, man. Yeah, don't want to get sued. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get down to business. First of all, we'll map up Hello? our defensive response. Tony? We'll expect a tight defense around the goal. Nope, but there. A staggered defense. Tony even lets super strikers use the movie glasses. Hmm. If I can't use the movie glasses, maybe I can make the movies. <laughs> it's so time! Technicali have been very good in attack, overwhelming the opposition with their numbers. But pushing all their men forward leaves the defense exposed. <laughs> and we got just the man to make them pay. Right, El Matador? Huh? Mm -hmm. El Matador! I swear something feels weird about my glasses. <sighs> Let's do it, guys. We gotta be prepared for Technicali. Yeah, who knows what that madman Tony Verne is up to. Day one. It stinks so much. I have stuffed El Matador's socks into my nose to block out the smell. It isn't working. I got it! <laughs> no, you don't! Oh. What should I do for my first scene? El Matador! Can I get a photo? Uh, who do you work for? I only appear in A-list magazines. Uh, um... Ponytail magazine? Oh, of course. Uh, just make sure you get my good side. Ah, go! And cut. What a scene. John J. Johnson, <gasps> Jr.? What are you doing in my lab? Oh, nothing, Tony. <laughs> Ew! What's that smell? I don't want to talk about it. I'm out of door. I was wide open. Sorry, Shakes. I was going to pass, but that reporter wanted my photo for the cover of Ponytail Magazine. <laughs> uh, what reporter, dude? That guy, right over... Huh? He must have already got what he needed. I am very photogenic. Anyway, a good practice, guys. I'm gonna go take a shower. Did you guys see a reporter? <laughs> <gasps> According to Pointless Gossip magazine, El Matador is showing all the signs of a celebrity breakdown. I bought it for a friend, okay? Oh yeah? What's his name? Never mind that. It says that the clear signs of a complete mental breakdown are paranoia. He was convinced someone touched his glasses. Hallucinations. Like the invisible reporter from Ponytail Magazine. <laughs> Anything else we should be looking out for, man? An urge to trash hotel rooms. <gasps> How about locker rooms? What? I'm sorry, El Matador, but this is for your own good. What is? 
A celebrity intervention! Get him! Uh, how many times do I have to tell you guys? Some mysterious intruder messed with my glasses, his skunk trashed our locker room, and the reporter took my photo at practice. Uh, denial is a clear sign of a celebrity breakdown. You guys are just jealous that they chose me for the cover of Ponytail magazine. I looked it up. There's no such thing as Ponytail magazine. Yeah, dude. Ponytails went out of fashion in the 80s. How dare you? Shakes, you believe me, right? Uh, I, I, uh... Fine! I'm going to go hang out with someone who knows what it's like to be a big superstar. <laughs> all right, all right, we get it! That went well. <sighs> I'll go speak to him. Well, hurry up or you'll lose him, Shakes. Well, not unless you know the big superstar he's going to hang with. But we are in Hollywood. That could be anyone. Don't worry. There's only one big superstar El Matador listens to. Oh, El Matador. It's tough being a misunderstood, rich, incredibly handsome soccer star. I know how you feel. Huh? John J. Johnson Jr.? Tony never trusts me to do anything. But he's not here. <laughs> but I still believe in myself. No matter what anyone says. Uh, do you always go out dressed like that? Uh, the 80s are back. Spandex is totally fashionable. <laughs> you should tell that to Norshaw. My ponytail is so in. Congratulations on making the cover of Ponytail Magazine, by the way. Why, thank you. Hey, how did you know about that? Uh, news travels fast in Hollywood. OK, this is my big chance. What do all good movies need? <gasps> Drama! El Matador, what's wrong? Uh, my teammates think I've gone crazy. Say, do you hear that music? Mm-mm. Drama, check. What else? Action! Mm -hmm. uh, uh, ninjas! What are we gonna do, John J. Johnson Jr.? What do you want? We are jealous of your awesome ponytail. Give it to us or face the consequences. You want my ponytail? Come and get it. So be it. Bro, we're bros, and bros shouldn't fight. Right, bro? Nah, lame. El Matador, we're all just worried about you. C come back. Sound like his mom. El Matador, being in a team is all about trust. What I'm trying to say is, I don't think you're... Huh? Crazy. Shakes! Help! El Matador? Oh, sorry. This isn't over, El Matador. Your ponytail will be ours. <laughs> <laughs> Shakes, and those evil ninjas were after my ponytail. El Matador, I think you should look at this. Huh? <laughs> oh, man. Klaus was right. I am having a celebrity breakdown. A game against Technicali. It's tomorrow. Oh, Shakes, what am I gonna do? Maybe you need to sit it out? You wouldn't tell Coach, would you? Dude. We have a chance to beat Technicali on their home turf. Come on! I'm your friendly, super reliable gold getting strike partner. I'll be fine. Match day at the hub. And it looks like Technicali are sticking to their attacking formation. With El Matador in red hot form, they'll be torn apart. So, Shakes, dude. What happened with the Lord of the Shower Rings over there? Yeah, is he seeing things all way? Is he in the right frame of mind to play? Well... Hey, guys! Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, uh, like I was saying, he's totally fine. Day two. The smell isn't going away. But I must remain focused on my mission. All right, El Matador, it's showtime! And we're off! <laughs> Cheeky! 
Speed shapes! And highly effective. <laughs> El Matador has an early opportunity here. He's clean through. Huh? Where'd you guys come from? From your worst nightmare. Shakes, back to you! Instead of shooting, El Matador passes to a marked man. It works! I'm a genius! I was wide open, dude. Yeah, I know. Oh. Oh, trouble here for Super Strikers. Electrifying stuff from the Technicali boys. Oh. Technicali achieve on their first try what El Matadors failed to do the entire half. Dude, you're not handling the pressure. I gotta tell Coach about. Ah, whatever, Shakes. It's like John J. Johnson Jr. said. I gotta believe in myself no matter what anyone says. Wait, when did you see him? Uh, last night, just before the ninja attack. He wasn't real, was he? But if El Matador wasn't lying about the skull, then... John, who's on the cover of this month's Ponytail Magazine? El Matador, obviously. Uh, I mean, i uh, never heard of Ponytail Magazine. Uh, gotta go. Bye. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Shakes knows about Technovision. Oh, I gotta fix this. Hey, I thought those glasses were only meant for training. Tony? Why did Tony ask us to meet him here? Tony! Oh, yes! Much better! What have you done? It wasn't me. It was the skunk. I'm talking about El Matador's glasses. I thought you might need a little help with, uh, you know, winning. Oh. oh, quit moaning. You have a goal. But I want goals fair and square. Now listen, El Matador is being subbed as we speak. Hang back, defend your lead, and the game is yours. Any questions? Yeah. What's that smell? Oh. I think it's obvious that one of us has a serious problem. All right, I admit it. I am addicted to the gossip magazines. I need help. You were talking about El Matador, weren't you? Guys, I just saw a skunk! Uh, good for you, dude. Don't you get it? It means El Matador wasn't lying about trashing the locker room. And that's not all. John J. Johnson Jr. knows about Ponytail Magazine. How would he know about a made-up magazine? Because he's the one who made it up. So what is going on? Whoa, whoa, easy there, brother. Oh, God. Okay, keep cool, John J. Johnson Jr. You gotta get to El Matador before Shakes does. Hmm. What? Uh, hi, El Matador. Uh, listen, buddy, I'm not feeling that good, so when I come back into the change room in a moment, I may be acting a little crazy. Ha! You know the rules, Shakes. Uh. I'm calling my law. Oh. So you just ignore everything I say. We need you on the field for the second half. Okay, he's gone. Huh? Tony Vern swapped your glasses for some kind of VR projection goggles. I... I'm not crazy. Can you play without your glasses? No, coach. Then I'm gonna have to sub you. Uh, Tony Vern sabotaged my game and made you guys think I was crazy and worst of all, touch my glasses. You gotta let me get back at him. Hmm. The two sides emerge for the second half, and first out is El Matador. I'm surprised he's on the field at all after his terrible first half performance. They didn't sub him? Oh, well, El Matador, you're about to find out what this baby can really do. El 
Matador on the attack. Can he find some form in the second half? Ha! I'd be surprised if he can even find the ball the way he's been playing. <laughs> oh, you got past two players. Here's ten more! What's he gonna do, people? He's gonna pass to himself. Division is meant to make him worse, not better. How about some special effects to liven things up? Touches the glasses. Tail magazine. <laughs> That'll do. Back to me. <laughs> Eat this, Fido. Amazing. Unbelievable. than being crazy. <laughs> Sorry we didn't trust you, man. Ah, don't worry. It was Tony's fault. Are we gonna teach that sucker a lesson? Well, Spiteful Teen Magazine has an article on the 10 best ways to get back at an ex-BFF. Don't worry, guys. I already know how to make Tony pay. Get your high-tech augmented reality techno glasses right here! Uh, at least I can make my money back on these stupid things. <laughs> Boss, I found some people interested in the movie glasses. Ah, oh, welcome, welcome. And who do I have the pleasure of doing business with? El Matador's lawyers. We're here to talk to you about copyright infringement. Ooh. <gasps> what is that smell? I <sighs> don't want to talk about it. 